Okay, so I'm, I'm going to actually go down. I'm going to jump to the step 13 here. So week one, call to seller. So probably should spell that right. So now I go back to my eEdge system, and I'm going to add that event in. Add. And I'm just copying and pasting from here. And that's a notification. I do that. And number of days, that's on day seven. And I put paste that in, and I hit set. And now I go down, and I just turn that on. So now that one's done. Now I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to add another event. And the next one's going to be a set up my office tour. That's on day seven as well. That's a notification. That means it's coming to me. So that's why that email address that we put in for when we enter them does not even matter. We hit save. Now let's scroll on down. We hit on. And now I can see I've got nine steps already set up on here. Uh, first open house. Let's get that scheduled. And maybe if you get the, the alert that this doesn't pertain to this one, then all you do is you delete the email and you move on. You're done. You completed the activity. That's all you have to do. And then we go to, I'm going to jump down to, okay, now we need to do 15-day market review. So that's a notification. I have that. That's day 15. I'm just pasting. I'm pasting the same thing in here because it requires a value in that field. I hit save. And I'm actually not going to keep doing the on thing every time. At the end, I'm just going to go back and turn them all on at once. It'll just save me a ton of time. Third open house, day 21. So then we can really actually fly through this. Then we'll just turn them all on at one time. So then I hit that. Um, three week call to my seller. Add this client. Now just think. My mind's always spinning in um, weird directions, but. What I'm doing here is I'm just setting these things up to fall right on those dates. So 30 day, obviously that would be 30 days out. Um, for the, the, one of the next items that we're going to be looking at, oops, I did an email on that one, so I'm going to go back and I'll show you how to change that. I think if we look down here, I'll have an email in here somewhere. Oh no, nope, um, open house. Oh, I did do it all right. Okay, never mind. I thought I hit email on one of them. Um, we're going to be looking at creating your own that's 60 days, I just hit save, personal um, past client campaign. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding in events that tell you that, okay, it's been 30 days since they bought their home. Give them a call. It's been 60 days. It's their one-year anniversary. It's their birthday of buying their home. And it's going to go on forever. You can actually set it for as long as you want. So now we're going to have the systems all put in place. So you are communicating to your clients um, in a systematic way, and you're, you're not guessing, oh, who bought a home for me? When should I call them? We're going to take care of all of that for you. Notifications, 120, and save. And then we're going to do 150, add that event. And bear with me here. I just want to show you the full campaign. And hit save. So now I'm up to 18 at the last event here. So this is my... Final step, and I, it will tell me that when I get the email. That is on day 180. That's a standard, just a six month listing agreement. And I hit save. And now, what I need to do is since I didn't turn those on, so just on, on, I'm just going to turn them all on here. Save me a ton of time because then I could add them a lot faster. So it's the old um, assembly line approach one at a time and then do the rest. So, then this. Turn all these on. I hit this. And 120. And then 150. And then 180. And then I have to do one more thing. It's not going to matter that these things, emails are going out because it's going to go out to cyberspace, but just turn these off. These are the all the emails that we moved to day 200. We're just going to turn them all off so then we don't get bounce back emails. So it's going to send it to that need email 123 at gmail. So we'll just turn those off. But now, with these systems that we're showing you here, you really have every tool to um, run your business. Action plans are so crucial. It just simplifies this, your job and takes stress out of your job. Because we've got the for sale by owner um, 8x8. We've got the expired. We've got the um, just the, somebody looking to sell their home 8x8 that's already put into the system. We've got our action plan for listings. Um, and now. Basically, you have the ability to go in and create any action plan you want because you kind of see how that works and you can set up anything that you want within the system.